Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with another episode of BrickLover18 Asks You. So last week on the show, I asked you, what is your opinion on bringing Lego mocks to conventions when you didn't come up with the original design for the mock? I got some cool comments this week and I'm going to start reading them. Kevin F. Original Minifig. It is impossible to make something that someone else has never made or made something similar to it. The concept can be the same, but it's your own twist on it. I see no problem with it at all. Brickton likes making original mocks, but usually searches the internet for some inspiration. The Action Brick. Bring it to the convention and simply say it was inspired by the mock builder. As long as you put in a good amount of original thought, it counts as a mock. Just Lego 101 says no because mock is my own creation, not somebody else's creation. I think taking it there is fine, but give credit to him for the idea. Ozzy Brick says the build has been altered, definitely worth showing at a convention. The Brick Artist said it's not stealing. If there's little change, then it's fine. It's called improving. But if it's exactly the same with the exact same bricks, then it doesn't really matter. Matt's Mock says, well, stolen means that there's a cost copy like the knockoff stuff or even just copying in general but it's not copying if build, the build has alterations ocean brick fire it says it's fit stealing then all my builds would be credited to someone master builder dad good question on one hand if you altered somebody else's mock but then added a canadian hockey twist because those pieces were available thus making it your own however if i created something and saw somebody else brought my mock and ripped it off to a show I'm not sure if I'd be ticked off or honored. Personally, I would ask the dude, if he doesn't respond, bring it. I really like this comment and I actually think that send him an email is a really good idea and it'll something I will do closer to April. Thanks everybody again for your comments. My question to you this week is, there isn't a question. As you know, the Christmas time is coming up and Christmas is a very busy season. All the teachers are starting to wrap up their units, there's a lot of tests, there's projects, and there's just general Christmas stuff. So this week I'm not going to have a new question, but I'm going to have you come up with a couple questions. I'd like everybody watching, you know, to come up with a question that I could use in Season 3 of Brick Lover 18 Asks You, because Season 3 will air in January when Christmas is all over. So feel free to comment your questions down below, and you might just see your question used in an episode of Brick Lover 18 Asks You in January for Season 3. Thanks everybody for watching, and don't forget to leave your questions below. Thanks so much for watching this Brick Lover 18 LEGO video. If you enjoyed this video and you want to subscribe for all LEGO all the time, click the subscribe brick and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to see more of our previously uploaded LEGO YouTube videos, check the cards as there's a playlist there containing all our videos. If you want to see more Brick Lover 18, head on over to BrickLover18.com where you'll find the links to our Twitter and our Instagram and our Brick Link. Before you go, don't forget to leave a like on this video as well as a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already by clicking the subscribe brick. Thanks everybody for watching and I hope you have a great day.